Right, what I'm going to show you here is Klinger gasket. It's, it's a bit of a conundrum to most people, but what you do is if you go to the website that I'm just putting up here and give them your dimensions of what you're doing. Okay, right, what we've got here is a Right, what I've got here is a, a full roll a one millimetre clinger gasket. Now it's reinforced gasket. Reinforced gasket means it's basically got if you can see that. Small hemp pieces of string running through it. This is literal gasketing. Again, it's clinger. This is three millimeters thick. And what it does is, I find if you put it on a, a large enough flat surface, it causes a it's, it's, it's like a suction, and it, it's just a damned hard thing to get off. So be prepared for that if you're using this. It causes its own suction round about it. I don't know if that makes sense to you or not, but once you try and get it off, it will. It's a great, a great gasket, but it has no reinforcement. And it's nitril, it's called nitril. So. Having said that. <laughs> Now here's where I use that nitrile on. It's this T34 unit. Can you see the... This is a 3mm nitrile gasket. And when we're looking at a, a breadth of this, see once this is bolted down, <laughs> it's an absolute nightmare. They separate the two surfaces. I've tried doing it when it's dry or anything. I, I thought, well, okay, if it's wet, it's getting a suction on it. But see, when it's dry, even like drying all the surfaces off and then then fixing it down, man, it's it's a nightmare to come off. <laughs> but that's all good because you know if you're fixing something that's going to be on there for a while, then it's all good stuff. You know, um, having said that, where's the dry unit? Here we go. This is that. I'm going to show you how to cut out a gasket in a minute. Just, I mean, it's, you know, again, it's a cheap man's method. It's, it's something that, that's going to save you a few pounds or a few dollars if, if you're just a guy like me that's, that's doing it for himself. I'll show you how to make a template and just do it for yourself. You buy the sheet and you just start cutting it out. I've used the, the, the one millimetre reinforced gasket in, in this dry sail here. Again, this is... Okay, this is me. My big rolly clinger gasket. This is how I'm cutting gaskets. I've just made myself a couple of templates. The inside and the outside, as you can see. So, I cut myself a blank like so, by and just going with a Stanley knife around the, around the edges. I get the gasket, I then cut the inside out using that small template, and there we have our gasket. These are old plates, I just I'm just recycling them into something else. They had holes for other other jobs, but they'll do for this unit that I'm building. And I'll cut these edges. You need a really sharp Stanley knife. Put a lot of pressure down on your guide there. And just take your time. Stop just before the edges so you don't get cuts into your edges. That's what you're looking for is to get a 
Maybe a guide for your size than anything else. There we go. Let's wait a wee bit. See you off. There we go. And then at your edges you can just cut them nice and steady like that. Especially when you're doing the inside ones because you don't want to the wee cuts that will eventually propagate and tear them into the corners. That's a right, so we just back for a second. Get it away. Put my middle one on. I'm presuming you can still see this. Basically judgement, you know, you're, you're not going to be that far out, then it be I. And I know you should always cut away for yourself, but pretty difficult in this case. Just keep your feet and your hands at the road. And again, stop just before the edges. Take your time, but you need a really nice, sharp, brand new blade. There we go. And just cut your edge like that. You see that? And just because if you go right to the edges, you might find a wee nick in there, and that'll eventually. Spread. Okay, so you can see how I've cut my way through the sheet. Because if you're cutting gaskets, you want to kind of keep the less wastage, keep it nice and tight. You know what I mean? When you're cutting. And then that way, that way, so on and so forth up there and back down. Which means I can cut right along this edge of the sheet to here. And then right along here, and it keeps it fairly square for less wastage. So, just to go quickly again, the templates for cutting the outside. Well, it's a nice square piece of wood, so you're getting a flat surface, and you're not cutting it into the cement and maybe your carpet and stuff like that. <laughs> and then you've got your small template, it goes on there. And that's you. You end up with your caskets. It's fairly simple, fairly straightforward, and you're just using these for a guide, although they're wood. And it's the way you're cutting down. You're kind of cutting, so you're doing the side there. So you're not actually cutting the wood. And stop at your corners, especially with these ones. You don't want wear it, so just stop back for the corner. And then when you're wanting a bit out, you just. This is what happens if you try and cut right to the edge. I don't know if you can see these or not. This is a waster. I wasted it anyway, so. Can you see you get a tiny, tiny wee split in it? Can you see that? Can you see that wee split? That'll eventually rip. You see what I've done on all these ones is I've stopped just before the edge. And the more. I've stopped just before the edge. And what you do. Is when you're going to cut them, you cut back through the, the, the line. You really want to cut back, move it round, and again, set so you cut back. You're going to cut towards it like that. 